Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Trof, and we're back again with another video by Major Kill. This is gonna be the 10 oldest characters in 40k. So, um, I want y'all to prepare. Mostly we've been checking out newer uh, Major Kill videos, so in the newer ones he's a little bit less uh, edgy, as one might say. And this is older Major Kill, okay? This is, this is older Major Kill. So I just want y'all to prepare. Okay, prepare. G'day, fuckheads. Yes, yes, I know. I am sorry. This video is late. I can't really help it when my street decides to cut the internet okay. out for an extended period of time. In other news, I actually went to bed at a reasonable time recently, so really? it wasn't all bad. In my last video on the Necrons, a lot of you cunts were like, Oh, where's our Pokemon trainer trends? If uh, you guys know I suck at pronunciation, it's probably pronounced something way cooler than that. And the answer is, it is on the way, so please be patient. I was thinking, the 40k universe is a pretty fucking old universe. I mean, it's literally in the name. The galaxy of 40k is in a constant state of war, so I was wondering how old people were able to get before okay. dying. And the answer is pretty old for some of them. I did the research- okay. Now, uh, l let's theorize a little bit. Theory? Yeah, I know what I mean. Let's think about it. Now, Emperor, maybe. old. Yeah, he's probably old as fuck. Old old god things right chaos things uh i think maybe some dark elder because they're like they don't die unless they stop killing people so there must be some of them that's like old as fuck what else what else i don't think any of the humankind's gonna make it in this besides maybe the emperor maybe i'm not sure exactly how old the dude is but he's probably old you know he's a chair now you don't get to be a chair without being old what else could make it Tao, they live pretty short, so not Tao. Hmm. Oh, maybe the, maybe the, the 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 the, the, the those uh, the the fuck, what are they called? The dudes from StarCraft, the uh, not actually from StarCraft. You know the devourers things. Yeah, I forgot the race. They they're they're overlord or over hive mind thing is probably old as hell. So you guys didn't have to, and I've come up with a pretty solid list of the oldest counts in Warhammer 40k. Okay. Some rules to start us off. Being asleep or in stasis does not count as oh. aging, otherwise the list list would only have Necrons on it. This also disqualifies other characters like Gullyman and the Lion, who've enjoyed 10,000 year naps. In saying this however, the Big E isn't counted as being in stasis as he is literally yeah, holding the stuff. Imperium together with the power of his will, justice, duty, friendship, and, and the horrific slaughter of millions of psychers. True. Also, I am ignoring warp fuckery. So people who have been in the warp for thousands of years but only feels like a few months still count as being old as fuck. Okay. Let's get into it. Coming in at number 10, at the ripe old age of about 10,000, are the currently active Primarchs. This includes the Wait. Chaos Primarchs such as Mortarion, Angron, Protrapio, and- Wait, a creature that's on 10th on this list is only taking- What? I thought it was definitely gonna be- all creatures that are like way older than this aren't there like a shit ton of demons that are way older than this they're probably less megan magnus you know, and, and fulgrim we can also add lehman and corvus to this list as they're both running around somewhere doing some wacky shit <laughs> lehman is likely odin by this point for what i've heard corvus is going full shadow demon on some bitches so i'm keen to see them re-emerge the same can be said for the khan after being created in the 30th millennium and then used for the Great Crusade, these living Primarchs have taken a back seat in terms of doing anything meaningful for the last 10,000 years. With the way things are heating up though and the return of Robutio and Gulliman, it does seem like we will see these bad boys come out to play pretty soon. Down to number 9, we have an interesting member of this list, Slanesh, clocking oh. in at about 11,000 years old. That's right, the Chaos God of Pleasure, Happiness and Eternal Rape is actually not that old. Being born at the end of the fall of the Eldar during the 30th millennium, Slanesh is the youngest Chaos God, and a reminder that the threat of Chaos is actually a pretty recent one to the galaxy on the grand scheme of things. Probably explains Slanesh's immaturity, as he, she, it actively enjoys invoking Korn's wrath. Not something that most people do for fun, unless you enjoy right. an axe in your asshole, which is something Slanesh would actually probably enjoy. Probably. Continuing this list, we have two cunts that definitely play. don't like Slanesh, Eldrad and Vect. It's hard to pinpoint the exact ages of these two Elder, okay. as Eldred doesn't talk about his youth and well, Vect is a fucking liar, but we can give it a go based on what we know. Vect says he was present for the fall of the Elder, making him over 11,000 years old at least. 
Eldred, on the other hand, was already a very respected and powerful Farseer well before the Horus Heresy started, over 10,000 years ago. To be in command of Wraith Lords and an Avatar of Cain at 10,000 years ago means Eldred would have to be at least 1,000 years old at this time making him at least 11,000 years old now. At least. Both Vect and Eldred are extremely old even for Eldar standards. This is due to Vect being a naughty boy that puts on naughty skin cream to keep himself young, while Eldred states he is just too stubborn to die of old age. However, he is likely a demigod or avatar of some kind, which keeps him pretty fresh. Taking a bigger fresh. jump now, we have the rest of the Chaos Gods clocking in at about oh. 39 to 40,000. Wait, they're only 40k years old? I thought they would be way, way old. I thought they'd be like start of universe old. Thousand years old. Interesting. The Chaos Gods aren't the exact same age exactly, but Korn, Nurgle, and Titsnitch were born pretty close together in the second millennium, when people started to get, you know, a little bit naughty. Coincidentally, we're currently in the second millennium, so it's probably our generation's fault for the birth of Chaos. Whoops, I suppose. Fair enough. I, can I find it pretty happening. interesting that the big bad of 40k is not some ancient enemy, but quite a recent blight to the galaxy. The actual oldest Chaos God is between Nurgle and Korn, but this shit gets reconned so much it may as well just be Hitler. You guys will like this next one. Number 6 on this list is coming in is young and fresh at only 45,000 years old is the perpetual Olanius Pius. Cool. Olanius is so old he was actually born before the Emperor of Mankind. He was born as a perpetual for some reason which means he can't hey. really die so he's easy. He chose to take a back seat in mankind's history and was always very humble. How when the Imperium arose, he chose to become a guardsman instead of a key advisor to the Emperor or a general or something. Wow. He maintained much of his pre-Imperium culture, including being a Catholic. He fought in numerous ancient Terran wars, such as the Battle of Waterloo. Unfortunately for Alanis, he had to be used as a sacrifice in order to make the Emperor realize that Horus needed to die. Uh. See, when the Big E confronted Horus, he was prepared to allow Horus to kill him in order to fulfill the Cabal's prophecy and destroy Chaos at the cost of humanity. However, due to Alanis randomly yeeting in front of Horus and copying an attack so bad it was able to permanently kill him, the Emperor had a change of heart, as Alanis was never supposed to be there, hence fate is not set. As such, okay. Alanis can literally be credited was saving the entire Imperium, if not mankind. Not bad for a Catholic. Plus, that also retcons the whole, uh, uh, my hawk boy being evil and attacking the Emperor, so the Emperor killing the hawk boy. That never happened. Coming just after Alanis, at 50,000 years old, is the Big E himself. Born in 8000 BC, the Big E is the product of every psycho shaman in the world simultaneously killing themselves in order to create a super bean. Basically what happened is that the shamans of the ancient Terra knew how to reincarnate, making them effectively immortal. The issue was that the warp, which their spirits travel through, was becoming more and more volatile, meaning less and less shamans were able to reincarnate. Mm. To deal with this, they all OD'd on some good shit and bull charged through the warp to create a singular spirit. Fair enough. This spirit was born to a normal family, however quickly outlived them all and began wandering the earth, gathering knowledge and experience. He would usually take a background role, allowing humanity to guide their own fate, however he would occasionally step in as a leader or advisor to tip humanity towards a brighter future. The man got real smart and started experimenting with super soldiers and genetic modification, and um, it was a bit hit and miss as we all know. Despite Alana saving the Big E from Horus' final blow, he was still extremely injured and had to be interred into the Golden Throne to be kept alive, and to continue to power the Astronomicon. He has sat there ever since, slowly rotting away for the last 10,000 years. The Emperor is also a perpetual, so there are various theories about how to revive the Emperor. Number one, just to pull the plug on his life support. It seems, however, that the Emperor has resisted attempts to revive him, likely due to the high-speed internet connection the Golden Throne has to various hentai websites. This next one is a little ambiguous, but hear me out. Plus, he also slapped the shard of a space dragon, that's pretty important. The Old Ones. It's in the it. fucking name. These overpowered toads have been described as immortal and were around many, many years before the Necrons were made of metal. As such, it can be argued that various old ones live to potentially be up to or beyond a million years old. Not much is known wow. about the old ones other than the fact That's that they are responsible old. for the vast majority of sentient life in the galaxy. And they um, inadvertently created the realms of chaos, but we don't really talk about that part. Sadly, it appears that the old ones are all dead or gone and have never been given an origin story. However, we can certainly say that we're significantly hey, older than the Big E. Down to the top three now, we're getting really fucking old. Coming in at the long ass age 
of 60 million years, we have the Silent King, Lord of the Necrons. When the ne He's 60 million years old? Necrontier fucked up and sold their souls to the Stan. The Silent King were allowed to maintain his free will and was given command of the entire Necron race. After defeating and shattering their Stan overlords, the Silent King commanded his people to sleep for 60 million years. He then released them through his command so they all regained their free will. Now he felt kind of bad about the whole situation and how he kind of fucked over all his people and basically made them all his slaves. So instead of sleeping, he ventured throughout the universe for 60 million years. His body is built significantly sturdier than the other Necrons, so he's experienced no wear and tear at all during this time. With the reawakening of the Necrons, the Silent King has returned to the Milky Way and is currently working towards returning his people back to flesh and bone, which might be a shit idea, as the Necron tier are a bunch of cancer-ridden sad sausages. Down to number two, we have the Stan, mainly three or four of the Stan. The Stan were created during the Big Bang, so they've literally been around for nearly 14 billion years. They start off as humble star vampires that flew around eating stars and just being casual menaces. Ah. Then the whole fuckery with the Necrons happened, and most of the Stan killed each other due to the quality pranks by the Elder God of Memes. This left only a few Stan, such as the Nightbringer, Deceiver, Spiral Flame, and Burning One. These Stan were then attacked by the Necrons. Why do they all have edgy names? The Burning One. Only a few Stan, such as the Nightbringer, Deceiver, Spiral Flame, and Burning One. These Stan were then attacked by the Necrons and shattered into various shards and imprisoned, forced into basically becoming Necron super weapons, which is pretty solid revenge if I say so myself. If the Stan were ever able to escape from the Necrons and put their shards back together, everyone would be pretty fucked. I consider the Stan shards to be in stasis, hence for the last 60 million years or so they've not really aged at all as they just sit yeah. in their Pokeballs. Before we hit number one of the oldest motherfucker in the galaxy, we have a few honorable mentions. Okay. First, we have the Blood Angels Chapter Master, Dante, yeah, who clocks in at 1,500 years old. While not very impressive compared to the rest of this list, Dante is one of, if not the oldest Space Marine currently alive. Considering Space Marines fight everyone every day, that's a pretty solid achievement to keep up for that long of a time. Dante is actually pretty keen on dying, however he <laughs> loves a good prophecy, especially the one that states he will give his life to defend the Emperor, so he's still hanging it out to fulfill that one. The next honourable mention we have on this list is John Grammaticius, I think that is his name, who is another human perpetual. Unlike Alanis and the Emperor, however, John was given his perpetual abilities through a group of weird-ass aliens called the Cabal. He was an active agent for them for over 2,000 years, however disappeared from records after getting his heart broken by some thought. The reason he isn't on this list, despite potentially being 12,000 years old, <gasps> is he may not be alive, and could have died shortly after the collapse of the Cabal at the hands of Eldrad. Okay. Our final honorable mention is the Tyranid Hive Mind. Yes. While it isn't a particular- I thought this thing is gonna be definitely in here. Why is it not in here? Character per se, it is a sentient entity that has likely been hanging around for millions, if not more years. Unfortunately, we don't have enough information about them to give a good guess on their age as well, mm. as the fact that it'd be a bit gay to put this wacky bitch on the list, so we'll keep him to an honorable mention. And now to our number one oldest motherfucker in 40k, we Ghost have Dragon? the Void Dragon. Hey, I just couple actually fucking guessed it. What the fuck? This motherfucker in 40k, it's we have the, the Void Dragon. Dragon. While I could have just coupled the Void Dragon with the other Stan, it wouldn't be right, as the Void Dragon remains whole and unshattered due to being the strongest of the Stan. Surprisingly, the Void Dragon was defeated Wait. and entombed within Mars. Yeah. By the Big E himself. However, this would have occurred nearly 60 million years after the other Stan were imprisoned, hence the Void Dragon has a large age gap on the other ones. To think that one of the most powerful beings in the entire galaxy is sleeping in the heart of the Imperium is a bit of a worry, but as a great man once said, she'll be right. And that covers us for this one guys, if you think I missed any old motherfuckers who aren't dreadnoughts, then comment them below. I'm not too fussed if I've missed some weird exodite pedo who sits around all day smoking weed, but if I've genuinely missed some good oldies, then I'd be keen to know. Progress on the animated project I'm working on is going good. We've got the voice actors sorted, and now I just have to go through the script and write it all up. If you want to help support that project and get sneak previews, then head on into my Discord or consider donating on Patreon. All patrons also get a boatload of Warhammer Hentai, so uh, fuck yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. I think you Peace. need a machining spirit. True. <laughs> hey, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Oh. I'm kind of surprised, like, I, th I thought the Chaos Gods were way older, 
and I definitely thought that there would be some of the greater demons on this list, though it makes sense that they're not great demons, because, you know, the Chaos Gods are in here, and they're not that old, so no point in putting them in, I guess. Anyway, a uh, quick thank you to the everybody supporting the channel, Pedro Martinez, Kamasco Unit, Rob Berry, Swastetic, Fewish Chicken, Senior Hilter, Lemon and Moon, Akma, Dasher, Ranik, Nala, James, Bizonet, Teruga, Hideki25, Michael Museo, Nikola Gurgiev, Shorty. Thank you all for the support. Uh, I've worked and finished the the channel, some like as many channel emotes as I can put, and we have channel badges now, which uh, for all my 40k fans will probably recognize. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. Everything's in the description if you want to check out any of that shit. Uh, have a nice day, everybody. Bye bye.